Hello. Hello. How love you. I love you more. Oh, excuse me, bubbling me throat. <laughs> she probably does love you more than me, but hey. And right. you're probably going to love me more because it's all about me tonight. <laughs> it's all about Mazzy today. It's <laughs> all about sorry. Mazzy. Now, this is a video <laughs> mm -hmm. which Mazzy has been making, which was going to be just for patrons yes. because it's quite a sensitive subject for yeah. you, isn't it? Yeah. And she doesn't want people attacking her in the comments. Yeah. And she thought, well, she can trust the patrons. She knows yeah. they're going to look after her. There's a lot of people I can trust, but you know, the, you know, there's, there's some, always one. There's, there's always, always one. one or two, yes. <laughs> and I've watched the video and I've said, you know what? No, that's a perfectly nice video. I like that, and a lot of people will be interested. I think another reason, though, it, because it was just all about me, I didn't think it would have been suitable Mazze, for the channel. There's a lot of people watching this who <laughs> wishes this entire channel was all about you. Oh. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so this is all about Mazze's diet. Now she started this on the 23rd of March. A mind and body cleanse. Mind and body cleanse. Just a cleanse. 23rd of March I started. And you're going to be doing it for a month. Going to be doing it from the 23rd of March to the 23rd of April. 31 days. And at this present time I'm halfway through it. And you've been doing very, very well. I have, yes. But... So, uh, one thing I want to say in this. If there's any bad comments, nasty comments, argumentative comments, I will be deleting them and I will be blocking you because this is very sensitive to Mazzy. It's yeah. about her diet, her health. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to gluten, <laughs> which she's going to be talking about, she yeah. isn't allowed gluten, OK? Yeah. Because of her bowel disease. I have an ulcerate, I have ulcerative colitis. I've been diagnosed since 2009 and... But you have still eaten gluten. I have been, you? but it causes me shouldn't. issues and I shouldn't be. And for, for this particular month, I really feel my body needs to be sorted out. So, so one thing you yeah. didn't mention in that video is why, why? you're having gluten-free. Yeah. So that's the reason. Yeah. Right, just watch the video. Yeah, uh, we'll come back at the it. end. We'll come back at the end. Yeah. But nobody leave any comments attacking my lady. Oh, or, or you, I'm you're sure gone. they won't. Enjoy! This is day one, day one of my detox. Now, I've set myself a challenge from the 23rd of this month to the 23rd of next month. It's the 23rd today. Uh, what day, month is it? It's March or whatever it is. So I'm just going to do the full month, 23rd to the 23rd, which I think is 31 days. All up, my goal is, is to detox. I'm trying to detox. Now, I have a couple of certain goals that I want to achieve by doing this. One is to get rid of the caffeine. I, if, if you all know, <coughs> excuse me, you all know I'm absolutely terrible with the coffee. It's it's become horrendous actually to the point now I know I need to do something about it. So I'm going to be drinking green tea instead of my coffee every morning. I get up, I'm making a green tea instead of co all day. I'm not going to be having a coffee. And actually, I'm going to be honest. I started this now two days ago and it's going pretty well. I'm actually, the first cup was a bit like, ew, you know, it took me a little while to get used to it. But I'm actually really enjoying it. And I think actually I'm going to get some, of, I think there's red ones as well, isn't there? I used to drink before. So that's my main goal. One of my main goals, get away from the uh, caffeine. Um, the whole goal really is just to detox my mind and body for a month. I just want to cleanse myself, you know? So I'm gonna be going without alcohol, I'm gonna be going without sweets and chocolate. To be honest, we don't really have sweets and chocolate anyway, really, hardly. Uh, but when we do, we do. <laughs> so that's, uh, there are other items I'm gonna be going without. <clears throat> My next items that I'm going to be going without, and it, uh, is, I, I don't know what the word is, it's gluten basically. I'm going gluten free to help cleanse the body. So I've brought a lactose free milk, which I quite often buy this, but not all the time because it is actually double the price almost. And for my wraps, I've got gluten free wraps. Again, they're, th let me just fix the screen. Again, they're um, nearly sort of double the price. They're about 285. Uh, for how many? Four wraps. £2.84.5 for four wraps. Um, 
I know you can get like a pack, pack of eight for a pound. So yeah, you know, to go lacto-free, lactose-free, gluten-free, whatever, it is a going to cost a lot of money. It does. But I'm supposed to be. So I know we've had this all before. I started this before, but it was something different then. This time I'm having a body cleanse. Just a nice body cleanse. For the summer, I feel like I just want to start the summer fresh. Fresh mind, fresh body. So I've got my green tea. Today is actually a day one because it is the 23rd. Although, like I said, I did start these two days ago and I haven't actually had a coffee for two days. So I'm really proud of myself with that. These anyway are just, you know, I, I've had these before. So that's not going to be no, nothing new or special. I'm going to be eating lots of fruit. Well, maybe not so much fruit, but I'll try and get some fruit in. Just lots of veg, fresh, fresh stuff. <laughs> also, also, another thing, I'm going without meat. I do feel like going through a body cleanse, I, I, I feel personally I need to go without meat. But again, do I really eat meat? Mm, very rare anyway. But so that I'm not even going to miss it. But I, it was hardly rare that I sort of ate it anyway. Right, let's get on with day one. I'm going to be flogging this for a few days for the month and see how I get on. A few days, the month, Mazzy. And you're all wondering if Dan is going to be joining me with this. Well, actually, I have asked him. Now he's interested, but what I think it is, he, he doesn't want to commit to a certain day to when he starts and stuff like this. I, and also to how far he'll take it, I don't know. He's not going to give up meat, that's for sure. And he will not just eat platefuls of salads and stuff like that. But I do think he wants to start healthy eating. So he could be joining me on this later on. We'll have to see as the days goes or the weeks part go. Or well, before we know it, the month is probably gone and he hasn't started at all. But I do hope he does. Also, another thing for me, I, I'm feeling like I want to get a lot more water into myself. Now, I drink a lot of water. Well, I say, I, I mean, I do. I drink quite a bit of water anyway, but I want to drink more. I want to cleanse my mind. <laughs> I do. I just want to cleanse everything. So that's one thing I need to do is start drinking an awful lot more water. Get away from the hot drinks, whether it's I, whether it's tea or whatever. I just need to get away from that. I don't drink pop, fizzy pop or anything like that, or juice anyway. Never done. Um, yes, so fingers crossed this is going to go well. I'm looking forward to my tea today. Day one meal, stuffed pepper with couscous, mozzarella, guacamole, pesto, and a little bit of salad. Oh yes, and I'm now on my third bottle of water in the last hour, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Good morning, day two to the big detox and body and mind, mind and body cleanse. Now, I made a big mistake yesterday for my meal, which I didn't realise until last night. I was doing a little investigation to what has gluten in and stuff like that. Turns out couscous has actually got gluten in it. Mm. Okay, so that's going to mess me up, actually, for the kind of meals I was planning to do. And I have a mountain of it already in the cupboard. So I'm not going to see it like a fail. It's just a little hiccup, isn't it, darling? Yeah. <laughs> when can I have this doner kebab? You can have it whenever. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And obviously, we haven't been shopping to a proper supermarket, I'd say, five or six days now. And we haven't, we're haven't. we not still going to get access to one for another three, four days. Is that right? We haven't been to a supermarket for ten days. Oh, wow. Ten days. And we're still not going to get one for four or five days. So all we do have is a little Tesco Express in town where I did pick up the peppers the other day, but their selection is limited. So it looks like until I get to a supermarket, I'm literally just going to be eating veg, fruit and whatever. Fridge, veg and fruit, fridge and fruit. Anyway, come and sit next to me. Are you going to be joining me right in on me with this mind-body cleanse and a little bit of a detox? I'm going to be having a doner kebab and some sausage rolls. Don't be silly. You did say, for one, you might give up the drink. 
Yeah, I don't mind giving up the drink, but I can't give yeah. up the food. But you wanted to eat healthy, you said that yesterday. Not wrong Healthier. with Donna kebabs. A lot of meat in it, a bit of veg. <laughs> no, darling. I'm feeling fantastic. How, how do you think I've been on it? You've been excellent when it comes to your coffees, because you have got a serious coffee addiction and you've done yes. really well with that. Generally, during a day, I might I could have up to 20 cups of coffee. I'm finding now with the tea, like yesterday, I probably only had four cups. So that was an improvement altogether. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm cutting down the hot drinks. Did give me a little bit of a headache last night, though, and you were telling me tea gives you a headache. It used to, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> So I looked into the green tea and apparently if you have too much it can give you a headache, make you feel nauseous and stuff like that. Is four cups too much? I don't know. Anyway, so I might take her to the supermarket today, have a scout around, see if there's any gluten-free products I can eat. If not, I'm just going to have to wait for four or five days to a proper supermarket. Get a Mars bar. No, I'm avoiding sweets. And chocolate and crisps. I, I'm cleansing myself, darling. Yeah, and another thing I've established. I eat quite a lot of vegan stuff, don't I, honey? I don't re I hardly ever eat me. So I've got these tasty four spicy bean burgers. Again, they've got gluten in them. And I really want to stick with this. So they're going to be wasted, unless if you eat them. I'm gutted because this is the kind of food I'm after. Back in 1970, there were no such thing as gluten or vegan. Yeah, but people have allergies. I have allergies. And what do you mean they didn't? Well, they obviously did. You never they heard of it. aware of it. You might have heard the word vegetarian. thought, oh, you're a weirdo. But <laughs> apart from that, none of this stuff, you never heard of it. I love my vegan foods. But yeah, something like a spicy bean burger, but without the gluten. I did actually mm. see, it was a documentary I was watching about gluten. Back in like the year 1910 or something, there were a lot of people getting ill and they didn't know why. And this particular professor or somebody eventually found out it's because of gluten. So there were hundreds of thousands of kids mm -hmm. out there who were ill. That's coffee with sugar. Well, don't drink my drink. Then. Oh no, that's disgusting. <laughs> Cheers. Right, I'm going to tell you a little embarrassing story. So, just morning, I thought I forgot to weigh myself yesterday from my first day. So I thought I weigh myself this morning, just to see like if I lose how many, uh, if I lose pounds and how many I lose. I'm going to keep track of it by the end of the month. So I come outside. We did have a load of motorhomes all along there. Come outside. Took me scales to the hard service. I'm out here at six o'clock in the morning, jumping on it in my pyjamas, thinking no one's around, no one can see me. Literally, there comes along a man <laughs> with a camera, bear in mind. But he wasn't taking pictures of me. It was really misty out here this morning. It was beautiful, so it was picture worthy. I felt like getting my camera out. But no, that was really embarrassing. So I'm gonna take note of how many pounds I might lose by the end of all this. Right, into Tesco's we go to find some vegan sheep food. Footage might be a bit wonky. <laughs> Good girl, look. Water. I think we have decided for my fruit and veg to have a look at fruit and veg. We're going to go to the market. You've just suggested that, in your babe? Mm hmm. I might get some melon though. Oh, it's a lot in it. No. Let's go to carry on. Now these, I eat these all the time. I eat gluten free. Okay. 
got wheat in them. I was looking for, oh guacamole, I'll get some of that please darling, can you reach out? I can't have any fowls anymore darling. Can you? No, you've got gluten in them. Oh this month's going to be hard. Like Dan was just saying, right, this is your gluten free section, but it's all bread, it's just cakes. Kerry pot noodles, gluten free. Yeah but it's... Vegeta kit, gluten free. But that's just really wrapped, so you have to fill that in myself. No. I might try the gluten free mayo though, otherwise it means I'm not going to get mayo this month. Yes, in you go. Yeah, like Dan was just saying, you can get like vegan, uh, gluten free pasties, gluten free pizzas, gluten free this, gluten free that. But that's not the kind of food I generally eat though, is it? I mean, generally eat salads and... You're going to have to make some sacrifices, otherwise you're just going to be eating fruit I'm and I'm not veg. going to swap my food, nice food for pasties and pizzas. Right, a couple of plates that we need. Got in here. Nothing. Nothing. Got the vegan and some vegetarian -y stuff. Now I do know this brand does speak a uh, gluten free pizza but they haven't got it. No. Fruit veg market. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. That's it. About to start my second meal. I'm going to use half a pepper today because the full one yesterday was too much and I only actually ate the half. Although this one's smaller, so I'm still going to, I'm going to put it in the air fryer. I do not really know what I'm doing with it yet, but I don't know if I'm going to fill it or what. But today I got a zucchini. A zucchini? Is it a zucchini, babe? I think it's, I think it's a zucchini. Oh, a courgette! <laughs> a courgette. Never used one of these, ever. I've eaten it, sort of, I think. But I've never used one, so I don't know what to do. I'm just going to slice slices of it, I suppose. Stick it in the air fryer. Don't know. Let's just go with it. Um, I've established um, my diet is go because with the gluten and I that is the one specific thing is uh, along with the um, caffeine in the coffee. Uh, that's the well. It, it isn't just the caffeine in the coffee. It's the coffee itself. I do know I can get decaf. By the way, I know I can get decaf. But it's the, it's the actual coffee. I feel like I've got an addiction to coffee, so I need to get away from that. Um. Anyway, where am I going with this? I've forgotten what I'm talking about. Yeah, the gluten. That's the most important one of my sort of cleansing, my mind and body cleansing. Um, I feel like I really want to stick with this gluten free, which means it. I think it's just going to be fresh fruit and veg, which I'm quite happy about, really. So, yeah, as long as I've got a fridge for the month. If I don't have a fridge, I'll be crying. I'll be well upset. <laughs> Right, I think that's enough zucchini. It's not zucchini, it's courgette. <laughs> right, there we go. So I'm just going to active fry that for a little while. And um, with that, bit of salad. I'm allowed my halloumi cheese. I'm allowed uh, mozzarella. I'm allowed feta. So I'm crappy about that. So I've got a little bit of mozzarella left. So with that, I'm just going to probably just have some fresh salad. I bought a um, carrot that I can chop up or a fresh apple I can chop up with it. We'll see. Right, let's put this back. I actually had a couple of slices of a big Spanish onion left over. So I've chopped, diced a little bit up and I'm going to quickly put that into the pepper. Just see what happens. I do like raw onion mind. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Prepared my salad. Gonna add a little bit of guacamole. I love guacamole. And today I bought this uh, gluten-free mayo. 
Now, one thing I'm not actually sure is, is mayo gluten-free anyway? I don't know. But I'm gonna try this today. This is mozzarella. See how I'm gonna like that. And that's it. That's me tea. <laughs> okay, don't look as appetizing as it did yesterday, do it? I'm unsure if I'm actually going to like uh, courgette. Let me try. Mm, actually, yeah. Yeah, I could tolerate that. Yesterday's meal was the best, though. All right, it had gluten in it. Right, we'll see you in the morning for a new day. Day three. The health and mind deep cleansing. Right, so today, lucky me, I've been to Asda's. I've actually picked up a couple of odds, odds and ends that's going to help me to get through this. Right, for today, I'm just, uh, no, let me start on that. Why am I jumping the gun? Right, so the first thing I got is some cornflakes. Gluten-free cornflakes. Now, I did buy Kellogg's only the other day or whenever it was, but I don't think they're gluten-free, and I love a bowl of cereal. There we go. So, in, and also what I love is, what is it called? Fally fowl. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But I can't have it. It's gluten. So I've come up with a different substitute, which I'm going to love this. Sage and onion stuffing balls, right? Bear with me, bear with me. I think I'm going to love this as a great substitute of my little fally fowls. And job done then. I'm not eating no different then than how I usually would. Uh, let me just show you down to here. <clears throat> Excuse me. To what I'm having today. I'm having halloumi. Chopped up pepper, tomatoes on the fine, asparagus, they're dance. I've got my glass of water and lemon. And these are actually going on the barbecue today. So just going to have a lovely, lovely barbecue salad. Going to be well nice. And there we have it, the barbecued meal. Don't that look wonderful? So I've got tomatoes, asparagus, halloumi cheese, salad, uh, roasted peppers, guacamole, and vegan mayonnaise. Uh, Gluten-free mayonnaise. Oh, I can't wait for this. Day four's meal. Cooked tomatoes, guacamole, mozzarella, salad, and a little bit of cress. And day five's meal. <clears throat> cooked uh, tomatoes, cooked peppers, halloumi cheese, asparagus, raw carrot, guacamole mayonnaise and a sprinkle of fresh cress. And it's day six of my meals. I'm trying to quickly rush through this because it's getting a little bit long now, this particular vlog. Um, how am I feeling? Fantastic. Six days. I cannot believe it. I have stuck to it to a tea. I've been drinking lots and lots of water, stuck with me uh, green tea, not craved uh, coffee at all, which I'm very surprised because obviously I had a slight addiction there. But tonight's tea ain't going to be a lot. We've been, we've walked quite a long way today. I think just nearly four or four miles actually. I'm just going to be having a bowl of cornflakes for my tea i do have lots of salad and stuff in there i just I, I don't know i just i don't even fancy this if i'm honest but i know i have to get something down me yeah so it's going swimmily day seven tomorrow be a full week wow yes i promise you i have stuck to it and i feel fantastic and day seven i made it have i made it i have i certainly have i've stuck by it every single day and I feel fantastic right let me go through from how it started so <clears throat> at the start I thought I was only going to be able to eat vegetables and I thought you know this is going to be easy and then I learned that I can't have me fally valves or a little bit of couscous and it started to get to me a little bit if I'm honest so I did a little bit of research and I found out oh I can have cornflakes they do gluten-free crumpets which I haven't got yet uh, the cornflakes are amazing. Um, and they do more than what I thought, basically. Um, 
potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Like, I always thought gluten was like starchy foods. So I've learned something as well. I'm not still entirely sure where the gluten is, but I thought I couldn't have potatoes, stuff like that. Apparently I can have potatoes. So on my next supermarket trip, I might buy some little baby potatoes to go with my salad and stuff like that. So that's going to be making it easier for me. Um, also, I rushed through the last couple of days just showing you my meal because, you know, there wasn't really a lot to talk about. Um, I've got up this morning <clears throat> on my seventh day of doing my mind and body cleanse. I've actually decided I don't think I'm going to go back to coffee. And Dan even said to me uh, this morning or whenever it was, he, he don't reckon that I'll even enjoy it anymore. So I am debatable to whether I'm even going to go back to that because I'm quite enjoying the green tea and I've really cut down on, on my hot drinks as well because of it as well. So I'm really pleased with that, uh, which means I'm not going wee-wee so much as well, which is amazing for me. Yes, yeah, so the main thing really I have established, only in the last day, I think it was not last night, the night before, I found an awful lot more foods that I am able to actually have. Um, <clears throat> although I love my salads, I do like a valley vale with it, let's so to say, or, um, you know, like a new potato or something. So that's going to be, that's going to be a life changer for me. But the last couple of days, actually, I have just been having bowls of cornflakes anyway. I just get into that fit and mood where I'm stuck on one meal. But anyway, I've prepared my meal today. I'm going to take you inside. I'm actually using today my um, gluten-free stuffing, um, which is going to be unusual. I'm sure, I don't know. Is it going to be unusual or is it going to be the same or is it going to be nice? But I haven't tried it before. Let me take you inside, let me show you what I'm going to be having. And no, that certainly isn't mine. <laughs> That's Dan's big pie he's having today. So these are my stuffing balls I've made. <clears throat> uh, Dan's having one of those. I'm going today have halloumi cheese, half a pepper, roasted um, tomatoes, and a bunch of salad and stuff like that. There we have it. Roasted tomatoes, roasted half a pepper, hulumi cheese salad, guacamole, mayonnaise, grapes, and this is my substitute for um, belly valves. Let's give this a try. It does look delicious. Big glass of water as well. Right, let's give this um, stuff in a try. That's what I want to try. It does smell nice. Yeah, it smells well nice. Let me see if it's a good substitute. Perfect. For me, that is a perfect substitute. It's not as strong as your normal um, stuffing. So it goes really well, actually. There you go, any gluten free, uh, gluten allergy people out there, likes Valival and stuff like that. This, you can make this into patties and everything, couldn't you? Amazing. And it was cheap. So, what did you think? What did you think? Did you enjoy it? Now, I can already <laughs> notice a difference, <laughs> difference in Maz's weight. We've just been talking about it. I can actually see a difference in your weight. But yes. we haven't weighed you yet. No, not until the end. Not until the <clears throat> end. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very proud of you. You're doing oh, very, very thank well. Thank you. It's still continuing. Yes. Um, until the 23rd of April, is yes. it? Yes. So until then, there won't be another video out. And I will c keep you updated with a vlog and let you know how I've been getting on. Well, there will be another video out, just not about that. Oh, yes. I mean <laughs> about that, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as I noticed, <laughs> we were talking about me starting to cleanse my mind and body yes um in that video and i've decided now yeah having watched that yeah i am going to cleanse my body today i'm gonna are have you? a wash oh you're gonna have a shower huh? i'm gonna have a shower <laughs> i absolutely stink it's been a long time i'm gonna have a shower today so i'm gonna cleanse my body my mind well that's had it that's, that's had, had it you can't it. do what with my mind it's too old isn't it 
<laughs> yeah, something different today, and I'm proud of you. That yeah, were, oh, thank you. You were worried that wasn't going to interest anyone, and it was all about you. I think it was just mainly it was nice. because it was all about me. You it know. was a very interesting video. Yeah. And I'm any advice you. you have, you know, on meals and tips and stuff for me, I'm like I said, I'm still in the halfway through this. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Then Dan will let me know. He'll be sure to let me know. Because I'm still struggling with that. So. Yeah, you need more ideas of what yes. you can have, which is gluten-free. Which, and... I, I mean, I, I will go into this more at, towards the end of it, but what I have found, anyone with the gluten intolerance, is it's horrendous to try and feed yourself every day. Mm. So, anyway, like, hope you enjoyed It's like that. I've suggested uh, uh, jacket potatoes, because I love them. Yeah. And she's allowed them, but, but I don't she really ain't like that keen them. on them. No, no. <laughs> anyway, each to their own. Yeah, it's like pasta. You were saying, get a load of pasta. I don't generally eat pasta. Very, very rare, mm. but, you know. Right. <laughs> anyway, yes. Tomorrow is mm. Sunday. Um, we might be going live. We're not sure. It will not be at four o'clock. Oh. Yes, we spoke about this, didn't we? Liverpool are playing Manchester <laughs> City at half past four. There is no way on earth you will see us at that time. Yes, but we hopefully go and go early. We're thinking early, maybe yeah. like twelve o'clock. And take Sunday you out for the day. Well, <laughs> if I don't it's know possible. if if the signal's good <laughs> yeah. enough, we might take you in the woods and walk yeah. around the woods. Because it will have to then be on my phone, you see. So mm. we're not sure what signal might be like. So let us know in the comments if you'd like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we have an option. We could yeah. go live in the woods. If the signal isn't good enough, we could go live in the van. But yeah. it will be probably about 12 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if not, we'll just... Put Put a, another vlog on, hopefully. We'll try, yes, yes. Anyway, you all have a yeah, wonderful, have a wonderful good day. evening. Hope you enjoyed that. See you tomorrow. Love y'all. Mm. Bye.